What's happening YouTube? Caliber here. We're here to do another Epic 7 video. This is the patch notes update 1017, man. Um, so there's a lot of news to cover here. I'm not on stream. Um, I ended in my stream. Patch notes popped up. So we're going to burn through these super quick, guys. Uh, so the Halls of Trials will officially be opening the newest boss, Archdemon Mercedes, along with exclusive equipment waiting our heirs. Episode 2, Chapter 5, uh, 1, North Fortress City of Perlin will open along with introducing new... Uh, five new three-star heroes that our players can meet. The ice, the ice thief says. Also known, the berserker has his own drop right up this event. Finally, check out the other convenience uh, changes of this update, along with the preview of our next side story, Shadow Ravenwing Manor, guys. All right, so looks like here, episode chapter five, one stuff. We got all that going on. Um, so episode chapter two, five, one. Um, looks like we can go to the AP exchange here. We can unlock a bunch of things um, in the AP shop. Uh, we just have to eliminate 100 fighters, open two treasure chests, uh, clear stages 5, S6, die woods, acquire 10 parallel leather boots. Uh, once you activate that quest and you get it done, you open up the shop here. The shop will give you a breath of orbis, the ancient Shenardian war armor too, and the flame soul. The stuff that you can buy with AP points. Um, that armor's probably pretty good. Every piece of armor that's came from episode two, it's been very, very decent for indeed. Um, and you can buy that one time. Story journal episode two, chapter five, North Fortress of Parallel will be added. The new five stars here, guys. So new five stars, three star heroes of uh, new five stars, new five new three star heroes from Zidonia will join our errors and adventures, man. So it looks like uh, the three star hero Hatana, Lena, Ayans, Ayans. Can be summoned in drop rate events. The three star hero Eaton and the three star hero Basti are available in Moonlight Summons. Oh, we got some new Moonlights. Nice. So it looks like the first guy here is uh, Warrior, guys. This is uh, I Ions has committed a lot of crimes in a simple, bravado driven personality. He once had a strong reputation for taking care of people around him, but after escaping prison, he became incredibly selfish. Uh, his S1 punches an enemy with a 50% chance to use satisfying strike instead of gazelle punch uh all right uh satisfying strike a successful attack will always result in a critical hit a very interesting very interesting ability there when attacked has a 40 percent chance 50 percent chance to counter attack oh interesting so we got a nice little counter unit here that's earth he could be an interesting character to play with um punches an enemy with 85 percent chance uh max 100 percent chance to stun for two turns Okay, okay, interesting. Um, next character is a warrior, um, an ice warrior. Uh, the last one was green. Daughter of a family of sorceresses, sorceresses from Witchhaven, the Wanderer fighter uh, Hatan taught her martial arts and outside the world has passed through the city. After he left, uh, he left. she lost interest in magic and worked on honing her fighting skills alone. Unsatisfied, eventually she left Witchhaven as well as to find Hatan and become his disciple. Attacks with a strong fist, um, increasing the caster's combat readiness by 20%. Uh, power Strike, increased critical hit chance by a max of 50%. Is that passive? If that's passive, that'll be very interesting. Um, attacks all enemies with a powerful storm, decreasing combat readiness by 20% before inflicting attack of the caster for two turns before increasing the attack of the caster for two turns damage don't increase proportional amount enemies lost health when enemies defeated uh with this skill cooldown does not occur um very interesting decreased combat readiness attack all right exposed all right looks like we got a fire guy here a descendant of suin here uh, a thief a leo guys a uh, fire element uh suin has taken slaves to the settlers of britannia he was able to earn his freedom at the young age thanks to the sacrifices of the family but to become a street fighter and a criminal underground to survive uh he's begun opening up others find inner peace uh he lost with his friends after the disciple best Bat Bat Batasi went on a rampage now seeks revenge uh, looks like his knee smash here um, smashes the enemy with the knee with a 80% uh, chance uh, to decrease hit chance for one turn uh, damage don't increase proportional to caster speed so he's a speed demon um, attack the enemy with the wind pressure activates wind pressure again when the enemy is defeated uh, with his s2 damage don't increase proportional to caster speed I'm seeing the theme here Unbeatable will release energy to all allies, increase an attack for turn turn before uh, increasing speed of the caster for two turns. Okay, okay. 
Uh, a mysterious golem who stops people from entering certain areas. Uh, muddled memories means he does not know he is protected. Why? Recently he's begun to question whether he really is a human or if he's simply a golem with memories of a human. Every time he encounters humans, he approaches them out of pure curiosity, but often ends up fighting them due to the rumor he that's been spread in the past. This guy's a knight and he's a cancer. He's a light unit guys a strong knee uh, the enemy with 75 percent chance to provoke for one turn damage don't increase proportionals casters max health um ability two i protect receive 10 percent of damage taken by all allies in their place only the highest damage distribution effect will apply receive 10 percent of damage taken by an ally in their place only the highest damage distribution will affect will apply. So for example, if somebody takes a 25K hit, he'll absorb the damage from that up to increase max health up to 20%. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm not wrapping my head around that, but I protect sounds like an interesting ability and maybe a possible good light, uh, light bait, um, um, three star light unit, man. Uh, release a strong energy, uh, dispelling all debuffs inflicted on the cast before granting barrier and immunity for two turns. Okay. Barrier strength increased proportional to the caster's max health. This guy could be interesting. Depending on how strong that barrier strength is, uh, this guy could be very interesting. Uh, barrier and immunity is pretty huge. Um, we will have to see. Uh, I'm going to keep my eyes on uh, that guy. What was his name again? Uh, he's a golem. That's all that matters, right? All right, we have a dark unit, ba ba Batisi, uh, gained incredible power after using his teacher Hatan um, and other companions to attain the fighter's mask. Intoxicated by the power, he murdered them all except for Hatan and disappeared. As time passed, the power of the mask uh, um, gave him grew stronger. In return, his sense of self became increasingly blurred. He's a warrior, Taurus, and dark guy. Three star hits the enemies in the face using. Uh, when used against uh, an enemy inflicted with decreased attack, activate Rock Smash. Rock Smash uh, attacks all enemies. Very cool. That's an interesting mechanic. At the start of the turn, has an 85% chance, 100% chance to decrease attack of the enemy with the highest combat readiness for two turns. That is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Interesting mechanic there. Uh, attacks the enemies blindly. Um, with blindingly fast speed when used uh, against enemies with decreased attack or defense for two turns. Okay. Uh, de oh, decrease their defense for two turns if they if they have attack buff on them. So this is a very interesting character. Uh, has a chance, 100% chance when maxed out to decrease attack of somebody and just to go ham on their face. Okay. I'll take that. Halls of the Trials officially open, guys. Halls of the Trials will officially be open to the preseason. It has concluded. With the new system, check out the official opening, which will feature new bosses and new exclusive equipment. After clearing 6-1 Northern um, Britannia, blah, 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 you go there. You can open this. Archdemon Mercedes is going to be in there, apparently. Um, blah, let's see right here. The SS rank thing is going to be 3.8 3, uh, 3 million to hit SSS, man. Uh, one thing I have learned about these fights is Oath Key is your friend, especially if you use an also opposite element. Um, so this is basically what we got going on. We just have a new thing opening up with new artifacts and stuff like that. So Archdemon's uh, advantages and disadvantages will be changed um, as stated below. Um, rangers and Heroes, um, the same thing as we have. The advantages to Rangers and Heroes uh, gain 30% atta attack. Defense 20%, health 20%, um, increased damage suffered by fire heroes by uh, um, by 50%. Uh, you, you you have the uh, advantages and disadvantages that go on. Always go in there and pay attention to those guys. Exclusive equipment from four star hero Blaze Dingo, five star heroes Charles and Tywin will be added. Additionally, Yuno's exclusive equipment, which was shown during the moon, full moon festival, will add, be added to the Halls of Trials exchange. Uh, players can obtain exclusive equipment from the Halls of Trials using Wisdom Gaze. Exclusive equipment stats and skill sets will be randomly applied. All right, so it looks like Blaze Dingo here has a um, hellish defense. Um, so it looks like he's going to get 14% extra defense here. Um, wearing that gauntlet if I'm understanding that correctly uh, gauntlet maximize the power of Malicus making it suitable for cooking alright so punishment when using punishment one um, looks like he's gonna get uh, dispel one debuff inflicted on the caster an ally with the lowest health that's kinda cool increased defense of the caster for two turns when using punishment okay 
Um, grant the caster um, attack greater for two turns when using sacred power. Um, I kind of predicted that one. Very nice, very nice. I'm glad I got that right. Uh, Charles, he's going to get an attack percentage mask. Oh, gosh. A pauldron with the face of stern justice, symbolizing the firm res resolve not to allow emotion to get in the way of duty. So it looks like his, cha uh, his slash chance to activate smash by 10% when using slash. Oh, gosh. Chance to decrease defense by 15% and damage dealt by 10% when using a slash. Dispel all debuffs inflicted on the caster after using Faithful Strike. I was 100% wrong with Charles on my predictions on Twitch, guys. And wow, these slash ones, ouch, ouch. Um, yeah, ouch. All right, Tywin um, gets a health percentage thing here. Um, called Asteria, a beautiful silver sword that cuts through the enemies delicately like Winter Wind. Uh, you got Sword Storm, and dispel one more buff when using Sword Storm. That's kind of cool. You didn't guess that one. Uh, decrease the cooldown of all out attack by one turn when the buff is dispelled with Sword Storm. Okay, okay. Uh, I was wrong on that. Commanding Shout, increase the combat readiness of the caster by 20% when using Commanding Shout. Didn't expect that either. Very interesting. All right, so we got all these things in here. Um, so it looks like uh, looks like we're gonna have Blaze Dingle, Charles Tywin, and Yuna. Halls of Trials text improved. We're gonna skip all that. Says buff drop rate, guys. So says is back, guys. Um, for those that don't know, um, for those that don't know, um, says is uh, uh, specimen says the ML version is getting buffed. So if you guys are looking for imprints on him, this might be an opportunity to grab that. Um, that's all up to you guys, though. Four, four star uh, hero Cerulea will be improved, guys. Um, so it looks like she's getting buffed. She was kind of not so good before. Um, so after, she's going to get a 35% chance to decrease defense for two turns, which is a lot better than the combat readiness pushback. Very nice. Uh, her flame kiss before um, has a uh, spoils the enemy in the flame of Chatty. Magic Lantern with an 85% chance to inflict two burn effects for two turns. Before it was 80%. So now you can inflict burn chances 100% of the time with Seduction and Flame Kiss. Uh, that's definitely going to improve her, especially with that defense. Uh, in decreased defense for two turn chance. That's kind of cool. Uh, the issue where counterattack chances of uh, four star hero Purgus skills get lost was not improved after the skill enhance will be fixed. Issue where the awakened before description three star hero Gunther incorrectly listed bleeds as an effect will be fixed. Issue to cause the five star hero Seaside Bologna and the supporter to share the damage received when Seaside Bologna is placed in the front row will be fixed. Um, what else do we got here? Um, before and after here? What, what What's this? Uh, an issue with the skill description stun probability of wandering pu punisher skill lightning missions will not apply correctly after stage uh, 4 or 5 s has been fixed in Sidonia. an issue with multi pyros um, constellations so the battle not uh, match constellations shown in the monster drone will receive fixes monsters fixed red smart uh, red smoke pyro radiant pyro obsidian pyro radiant I elite pyro yeah on and on um, so stun probability 100% from 35% chance on whatever this is. Um, okay. Um, exclusive equipment artifact, four star hero guider Aether and five star Yufine and four star Armin and five star Yuna will have their exclusive equipment added to the alchemist steeple. Very nice. Um, battle where the guardian skill is reserved for the player taps the skill immediately after using the guardian skill will be fixed combat power of reflect different skill enhancements artifacts specially changes and change ruins exclusive equipment enhancements and levels were reflective on combat power there's no change to the hero based power combat for the skill enhancements for different combat power depending on additional effects gaining the result of enhancements for artifacts there will be differences in the combat power depending on artifact grade the uh, higher the combat power the greater the marginal increase of combat power uh, certain text related to Terranor will be fixed. Uh, an issue in the arena uh, pop-up window displaying incorrectly entry information will be fixed. There will be no changes to the system. Also, trials affect the boss uh, Nat Nalgar's uh, skill restrict will be released, uh, will be adjusted as below overall difficulty lower. All right, so story journal, char character specially changed will not be displayed in story journal, will be fixed. Uh, shop is opening up a uh, handful of sky stones will be deleted um, and items and pinch stones will be added the word bonus will be removed uh, the vault of stones will have a default number of sky stones changed from 3100 there'll be no change to the quality of this item so it looks like they're just going to go ahead and 
before it was 3,800 um, sky stones. Now it's 3,100 3, plus 700. I don't understand the, yeah. Okay, so they kind of changed it a little bit. Uh, yeah, they kind of changed it a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Auto Tower, second distribution notice. Uh, Auto Tower reward chest that will be given out compensation in your game mailbox to your Epic 7 during this period. So between 1017 to 1031 is when you should receive this. Compensation will expire seven days after appearing in your mailbox. Uh, the con other convenience changes, the line breaks shown in the skill reset pop-up window will be improved. The text that appears on the pop-up window after the player has tapped the reset skill button while the inventory is full will be fixed the text message displaying the auto tower under temporary maintenance will be changed the text go on the map will be replaced with an arrow aos all right side story shadow ravenwing manor preview guys so we got the side story coming up here of uh ravenwing manor awaiting our errors uh can't wait can't wait all right. Also, they like to inform us that the temporary maintenance in order to improve payment system performance. Please note this will not be able to make purchases during the maintenance period. Uh, so between uh, on 1016, um, 20, um, uh, tw yeah, 20 to 22 UTC, two hours, uh, players will not be able to make purchases during this maintenance period so they can fix things. So if you're trying to do purchases, don't do purchases at that time. Uh, don't don't risk any mistakes happening any any weird stuff all right and whatever you do if something does happen and you do do that do not try to do a chargeback that, those are bad they they frown on that all right uh, the pet system which was announced in our previous developer notes epic birthday in August has been postponed see below for the more detailed information regarding the new schedule it looks like between 1017 and after 1031 the date scheduled reason for delay pet pet system stability and additional convenience improvements guys all right so pet system delayed guys all right so that covers the patch notes guys um as you can see here new here or not new hero but hero introduced says guys uh says is here guys if you want to pull for an imprint on specimen says that's all up to you i i'm really not even sure if uh, that's even worth it but um yeah says um says the next banner he's gonna be going on from what 1017 to 1024 which is our standard you know wait time on this stuff you know that's usually how long it takes uh how long um old old units to come back go uh specimen says is imprint is actually attack percentage which isn't half bad i don't know that's up to you guys um should you pull on says i i think says is kind of dropped off um says still works in a lot of conditions like a lot of characters fully modeled with really good gear he's gonna do his job really well um is he is he top tier he used to be he used to be not a lot of people use him anymore after he got uh after wind rider got nerfed uh you're gonna have to make a decision for yourself if you're interested in him uh me personally i've never been a says fan so um yeah i'm an uh, easy skip for me easy skip for me so guys with that being said go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button turn on notifications guys um Show, show some uh, show some support to this channel. Uh, we're at 600, um, 600, I think we're at 600 uh, uh, um, subscriptions on uh, YouTube now, guys. So GG, uh, maybe we can hit a thousand, maybe we can get up there, maybe we can be popular one day, that'd be kind of cool. But anyways, um, with your guys' support, thanks so much. Um, leave a comment below. Are you guys gonna be pulling on says? Uh, what's your thoughts? Um, so yeah, let's go.